Hi there. Welcome back to JJ Wrestling. And we're talking about WWE and we're talking about War Games. War Survivor Games. Series. Oh, it's back. All right. So, what's going on with War Games? Well, I don't want latest news. We got Randy Orton coming back, returning to War Games. Yeah. That just came out with on Raw, right? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, pretty much towards the end. And you were kind of upset of something, though. They didn't let Randy come out. I don't think they had him there. Yeah, I don't know if it was a logistic problem, like he was supposed to be there, then something happened and he didn't come in, or they just announced it because maybe AEW had their announcement on Wednesday Yeah. about whatever the the one who's who's, who's still in a contract. Oh, Will Ospreay. I was on Saturday. Will Ospreay, yeah. I'm like, why do you sign somebody who's not who's ever still on contract with somebody else? All I know is that, that Grand Rapids Crowns was pretty, uh, was pretty upset. Yeah, it was disappointing. I was expecting to see him. I was expecting to see his uh, hear his walkout song come yeah. on, the crowd go wild, but it didn't happen. And you know, the, the crowd was, was like very upset too. Like they, they're there, they're at, the, they're at the event in the arena, then he doesn't come out. I, I want, I want to see, I want to hear something. I mean, unless you guys know, did something happen to Randy Orton? Did he have some logistic problems that he wasn't able to come in? Put in description. I mean, put in, make put in the comment down below, and we're gonna figure this thing out. Yeah. All right. So then. Uh, now, shouldn't they maybe just do a surprise on War Games yeah. rather than hinting on uh, Raw? See, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, why didn't they just wait to War Games? Yeah, I mean, it was always speculation, but it was never a sure deal. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think they should have just waited for War Games, just do a surprise. And WWE does not do a good job on hiding wrestlers. The only good one... The only actual surprise to everybody was The Rock coming out this yeah. past few weeks ago. That surprised everybody. Well, actually, even then, because remember on uh, uh, Pat, uh, Pat McAfee's show, they, they hinted uh, someone would be there. Yeah, he hinted, but that was more of a WrestleMania or something like yeah. that. Yeah. SummerSnap, whatever it was. But it wasn't for this, you know, and, and this was, I mean, that was a surprise. But WWE has not done a good job of that because no. when we get a surprise, everybody in the audience knows and they're cheering for him. Yeah. You're like, well, there goes the surprise. We know he's coming. Cause yeah, because the beginning of Raw, when they started hinting, they defend Mamber and the crowd said Johnny Randy. Yeah. I, and no, I mean, it's not just a hinting on Raw that day, but before, maybe before they, I mean, before they walk into the arena, whatever yeah. they're at, they already know. Yeah. Like, that's just crazy. Like, if you want to keep it tight lip, keep it tight lip, you know? Uh, anyway, so, yeah, that was very disappointing. Um, I mean, it was exciting that Randy's back, but disappointing that he wasn't there. Yeah. All right, so let's get to these matches. Let's, let's do some predictions, and, and let's figure out what's going to happen with these matches. So next we have uh, Rare Ripley versus... Uh, Zoe Stark, right? Yeah, Zoe Stark. All right. So, I mean, first of all, is this a... Awesome. I mean, is this like an exciting match or is this an everyday match to you? I'd say in more like a, day, a match you see every day. Yeah, I've seen it. You know, um, I know they're trying to pump up Zoe Stark. I don't see it yet. Uh, but, you know, she's trying to be this tough girl and, you know, she's going against Nia Jax a lot and she's trying to prove something. And I don't know. I don't think Rhea Ripley's the one. Now, back in the day when the rest was coming up, like, say, uh, they would wrestle, say, Triple H. Triple, I think we said this in the podcast before. Triple H will fight him, and then, at the end, and then of course, Triple H will win but, and come out the next day and say, oh, the next show, like, oh, he was it was good, he was tough, and this. And I think that's what they're going to do to this. Yeah. Uh, so who do you think is going to win, though? I'm, le I'm leaning towards Rhea on this one. Yeah, I say Rhea Ripley. Um, Zoe Stark just came out. Uh, well, I'm not going to came out, but she's been around a few months. You know, before the Lita and the Trish and all that, you know, she yeah. was helping all that. So it's been a while, but I don't think it's time. I mean, I don't think she's done enough to win the title yet. No. Um, next, we have Gunther versus the Miz. All right. So this is one of the the this is one of the fights for Miz to get back his um, winning streak or just his relevance of being with WWE. Yeah, that's what I think. I think that's what he's fighting for. What do you think about this? I think the same way. I think the same way too, because Miz actually, like you said, made this title more relevant than what it is before it got there. Because obviously, we all know that famous uh, problem with Dolph Ziggler, you know, on SmackDown. Yeah, 
And because before this, it was Chapa, right? Chapa was like, uh, Chapa, right? Or Chappy? Chapa. Chapa. Chapa was telling him like, hey, where you, you know, you're, you're not the same no more. You're a softy, you know, or pretty much in those, not in those particular words, but those phrases. And I think this is something for Miz to get his relevance back with WWE. Who's going to win? Uh, I'm leaning towards Gunther. I'm going to say Miss is going to win. Ooh. I think he needs to get back on top. Uh, he has been, always been a good inter- intercontinental champion. So I think he's going to win it back. And it's going to hold on for that one for a while. Next we have Carlito versus Santos Escobar. All right. This what do you think like about this one? one? This looks like a tough one for me. Uh, I'm leaning towards both. But um, I'm thinking more probably Santos, to be honest. I don't know. Santos is going to win? Yeah. I'm not really sure about this one. All right, this is like one of those family, you know, family arguments. Uh, it's a family thing, and um, Escobar is pretty upset that um, with the, I guess with Rey Mysterio, right? Yeah, I, I really don't know who to pick here. I don't want to say Santos, but I still don't know who to pick. I might say Carlito too. Um, I say Santos is going to win, Santos Escobar, mm. because we look at the size and we think Carlito is going to win. Yeah. You know, that's but, like that's like thing too. Plus, clean is more of the legend this match. But Santos is trying to build his name at the same time. I mean, so is Carlito, but Carlito has just got there, so he has to you know put his time in. I see Santos Escobar going to win. Now, what's going to so what do you think is going to happen from there with the LWO? Does he still stay with the LWO? I mean, he's not with them right now, right? No. Does he go back? Does he go back on his own? Does he leave the LWO alone? What would think is going to happen? I say he was on his own still. All right. And be the heel like he was before this uh, whole faction came along. All right. What do you got next? Um, next, we have the four way or the, the, work, the women's war games match. Okay. So that one right here, if I could see, is with uh, damage control. And who's that extra person? Kairi Zane. All right. She's from Japan. And of course, we got my wrestler, Bianca Belair. Then we got Charlotte Fair, Becky Lynch, which I'm a fan of hers, and. Damage Control. No, the. the oh, Shotzi. 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 Yahtzee. No, Shotzi. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what is your prediction on this? Uh, it's not a tough one, to be honest. Um, I do want to go for uh, Damage Control and, and Carrie Zane, to be honest, too, because I'm a fan of all of them, to be honest. All right. All right. That's good. Now, I'm going to go, of course, with Bianca Belair, Damage Control. So who do you think is going to win? Which faction is going to win? Um, I'm going to say uh, Kyrie is saying in her team, in the Damage Control. Damage Control. All uh-huh. right. Who do you think is going to get pinned from the other team? Probably Shachi. Shachi. All right. Yeah. Shachi. Okay. All right. Um, I say... Bianca Belair is going to pin EO Sky. That would be a good one. And I think that's what's going to win. Because there's no titles involved in this, right? It's just no. the war game thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, who do you think is going to be like the real, like, you know, Shots going in. out of the way and to do these Shots stunts in. and everything? So, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, right. it's that or Becky Lynch. Yeah, it's true. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, next one's the men's, right? Yeah. We got we, the men's war games match. Which I think we got, well, we got through everything here. Yeah. All right. The men's war game. This is probably going to be the main match, right? Yeah. All right. So we got, um, Judgment Day with Drew McIntyre. And of course we got, um, main event, Jay Uso, Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, and the Predator. The Apex Predator. Apex Predator. I'm, I'm just Predator by itself. <laughs> Apex Predator. Apex Predator. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Whoa. <laughs> Hide your kids. <laughs> Sorry, you too. <laughs> All right. So the Apex Predator is coming up. And I'm excited to this one. Who do you think is going to win? Now, I, I think without a doubt, it's for anyone in this team. All right. Well, so, I mean, it was obvious one. And who do you think is going to get pinned? On the other side, I want to say J.D. JD or Dominic, like always, <laughs> the weak links. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know for this one. Let me see. Um, I say Cody Rhodes will pin um, Damian Priest. No, 
No, no, no, wait, wait. Finn Balor. Randy has to get the win on this one, I think. You think he has to get the win? Yeah. I don't I don't think so. I I I would want him to get the win. Um what and anything exciting happen in this match or after the match? Uh, probably mm, No, I don't I'm not really sure, no. So does Damian Priest catch in his uh nah. thing? <laughs> I guess it depends how it goes, you know. So yeah. If he I mean, it will be pretty cool afterwards, but I don't think that was going to happen. Do you think uh, Damian Priest is going to be successful successful in cashing in the money in the bank? Yeah. Um, because now, before I didn't because they sold a few with Finn Balor, but I think now they're on the same page and I think it's going to happen. All right. I think so. I mean, it'll be good for, uh, for Damian Priest. I think it'll be good for him to get the title. I think he's done enough and he's ready. Now, I think there's going to be a twist on this. I think Damian Priest and JD are going to get into a battle there. I think something's going to happen there. Yeah, That's my I, prediction. I, I, I don't know. I just my prediction. And I, I do think Damian Priest is going to test um, Drew's um, like, loyalty in this match. Yeah, yeah. That'd be good. And on Raw, I don't know what you saw, but uh, when Cody announced Randy's return, uh, Jay's face was kind of like shocked. I mean, you saw a clip of that. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I did notice that. I did notice that because I was I think wondering why the Usos were feuding against uh, the the RK bro uh, originally. <gasps> yes, that's right. And um, there was a bloodline that took out Randy Orton, right? I think so. I was yes, that was uh, well. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think about that. You're right. She's like, tell me you're kidding. Tell me you're kidding. <laughs> wow. So now, hmm, plot twist on this one here. There's a lot of ways this could go south Does on Randy this Orton one. Does Randy do a RKO and J afterwards, or during that match? <laughs> now does now Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso they always interfere with stuff. So are they going to get interfere with this one? Um, I wouldn't be surprised, but. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. No? All right. Because Adam Pierce is there. Or, or Nick Aldis, too. Well, they both should be there, right? Yeah. All right. So I'll pray to let, they'll make sure of it. All right. We'll see what happens. It's this Saturday. Make sure to subscribe and peace. Yeah.